It's all right. There's not much to it. I don't know that I'm going to play a ton of it. Uh, it's Road Spirits. This is an Arc System Works game, which is interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, Exile 2. <laughs> no one spoiled a really good Exile 2 line that just <laughs> completely ruined like four streamers I saw play it. Road Spirits. It's just Outrun, but not as good, but easy. So that's kind of a plus because Outrun is hard as hell. I think the music's good, too. Yeah, the last Arc Systems game we did was Honey on the Road. That was, I don't know, a few months ago. They're all over the place. <laughs> I took them a while to discover fighting games, I think. I really like this interface. So I'm going to play this with automatic transmission. Uh, oh, I thought there were only the two options, but there are four. I think this is the coolest looking one, personally. So when I said this is like just Outrun, like it's just Outrun, <laughs> you see this? These songs are all over the map. Some of them are really bad. This one's really good. Do you think this one's Daisuke? <laughs> when did he join Arc Systems Works, do you know? Here we have a song with a very aggressive title. All the Japanese speakers in chat are like, ha ha, how funny, and everyone else is like, what the hell are you talking about? The seal. You get the idea. Oh yeah. Oh, Brazil. I think this song is like, yeah, this is extremely strange to ride to race to this song here. All right. It's all right. <laughs> this music. They just had some RPG song that didn't make it into some other project and they threw it in here. Oh, <laughs> I did that the first time I played too. The accelerate and brake buttons are reversed from what I expect them to be. Yeah, listen to that. Is this a little too loud by any chance? Looking at the peak meter, it's just pushing the yellow, which is a little too much for some racing games. Speaking from experience. Okay, good, good, good. Hey, thank you, Claire. I think any other night, I would have been really excited to play a whole bunch of this. <laughs> but, so, I don't mean to oversell Ease 3. Like, it's awesome. It's real good. But, it's not necessarily that I'm making all this time for it because no other game can compare. It's because it's very long. Oh, yeah, let's check out these signs. That one's slim.
Hey, thank you. You got the rare follow alert. That's slim again. There are other signs. Oh yeah. This is definitely supposed to be like Marine Land, but like they <laughs> they abbreviated it like Laserdisc. Good old Marin Laserdisc. This track is called West Coast. I haven't spent a lot of time on the West Coast, but when I was there, it didn't look anything like this. <laughs> I can tell you that much. I guess it's probably changed a lot since 1991. I feel like I got really bad luck on where these cars are. I almost never had to touch the brakes the first time I played this. I played through a track to make sure it worked on my system. The few CD games have had like weird crashes. My gut tells me all those games probably have a rip that does work too. Oh, uh, I, I have to sneeze. Hopefully that situation will resolve itself. Oh, we got the double swim. I really like these games, but they're really bad about <laughs> creating like dead man walking situations where you you screw up like 10 seconds in and you're just you're done. Oh, there are places in California that look like this? Okay. Oh, fish. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to Key West. Oh, I was like, what does that say? <laughs> I never got to the try next road, girl. That's really funny, actually. Yeah, I know what you mean, rhythm song. <laughs> Alright. What about straight from the heart? Eh. Oh, I want you to hear the really bad one. <laughs> this one is really... Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. Uh, welcome, everybody. Enjoy your emotes. Okay. Please. <laughs> Check out this, this really strange song to race to. But they're not big. They're normal size. <laughs> Gray out, huh? Disney font. <laughs> I have heard tell that Walt Disney could never reproduce that. The like D from the Disney logo. There we go. I remembered where the accelerate button was. So the PC engine buttons one and two are comparable to the NES buttons A and B. So one is on the right and two is on the left. So like in a platformer, for example, you would expect to hold two to run and then tap one to jump, yeah? So two, meaning the equivalent of like the B button on the NES, is the accelerate button. And then one, meaning the equivalent of A, is the brake. Uh, that's backwards to my brain. It's just because I got a case of Nintendo brain. Like, what is this doing in like a high octane racing game? <laughs> <I'm t> 
with all these sub notifications, dude. Wait. He West. Oh, okay. Um, there's something weird about this game. Like, as you're exiting a curve, or a corner, I guess is what they call it in racing, isn't it? It'll, like, if you're holding right on the D-pad, it'll actually, like, center the steering wheel. So to center yourself in the lane, you don't even have to touch the D-pad. You can keep holding right, and it'll... It's odd. It's hard to describe, but it, it makes cornering extremely easy. Meaning all the difficulty. <laughs> all these notifications. <laughs> Thank you for the host, Sheriff. <laughs> um, do. Okay. All the difficulty comes from the. <laughs> Stop, thanks. <laughs> the car is being so unpredictable. Whoops. Which is kind of how I feel about Rad Racer, too. The, like, driving itself is pretty straightforward. Whereas an outrun, like, I just find, thank you for the host, I find the the driving challenging in and of itself. And not like, oh, the controls are shitty challenging, but like, the courses are tough and the game doesn't have this like auto-centering feature after you leave a corner. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Are we good? And the control, or the cars, the other cars on the road are really unpredictable. this music, dude. <laughs> the only other thing I don't like about games like this is, like, I can't look at chat while I'm playing them, even the easy ones. Let me guess, yeah. Yeah, uh, Ease 3 is next. Um. <laughs> Mexican Road. Which one? Is, holy crap, thank you, Lynx. <laughs> is there a road called Mexican Road? Is this like a real place? All right, hang on. <laughs> Let me catch up. Hello, dog. Um, hello, everybody. I forgot to say hello to, which is most people. I, you Really? That's what you want to race to, Rambro? <laughs> and the... It gets me every time how the letters are scrambled. Hey, bees. All right, I'm not listening to that again. I don't want to do... Oh, no, I forgot to change the music. Oh, crap. Anyway, I don't really want to do a ton of this, but... I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying this. It's entirely because, unlike OutRun, I can actually, like, complete a course. I assume the game gets hard at some point, probably right about now. I have heard these games described as, like, raster racing games. Is there anyone tech-savvy in chat who can... <laughs> Do you think that stands for tacos? Probably. Who can explain to me why I might remember hearing them called that and if I'm remembering correctly. Anyway. I really like these games, actually. But I have the relationship with them that I used to have with shmups. Where, like, they don't love me back. They're just way too hard. And like, I'm at least at a point where there are several shmups I can 1cc. I wouldn't say I'm like good at those games. But if I'm in the mood to shmup, there are, there do at least exist games that are plausible 1ccs at my skill level. Many, in fact. Just none of the really hard ones. Whereas with this, like this is... This and Rad Racer are unique in that I'm not just losing for free constantly. <laughs> 
off at 15. <laughs> that's funny. That's the one... That's the one... Message I could catch out of the corner of my eye since these are so focus intensive. If anyone's like totally new here and just came for ease, by the way, it's game two. Uh, I'm not beating every PC Engine game. That's more effort than I want to put into games like, you know, Keith Courage, for example, and Titan. Um, but I, I'm trying every PC Engine game, with the exception of the ones that uh, violate Twitch's terms of service. There's a non-trivial number of those, so a good number of games will end up getting skipped. Uh, Ease 3, I'm going to try to beat in one sitting. I don't remember the game super well, but one of my best friends is probably the world's biggest Ease 3 super fan. So there's that. In addition, oh nuts. That probably cost me a lot of time. <laughs> Um, I am really stubborn, which will probably help for beating Ease 3. I want to do the whole thing, if possible. Is this the first one I don't win? Never mind. I got to the last boss of Keith Courage, yeah. It's not six hours long, if you know where you're going. How long to beat is so all over the place. Like... So <laughs> you Yes. You ran across a grown-up boss baby, like in real life? Uh, Coin, I'm not sure how the sound works, to be honest. Um... Hopefully someone in here, like, knows more about the system's hardware. So, anywho. All right. We got to change music. This is our last one. What about Q-chan? No. <laughs> A seal. Jeanette. There. So, okay, here, here's one on how long to beat, for example. It says um, Adventure Island is um, like 40 minutes long or something, which is like the length of the speedrun world record. <laughs> and like, now I know one person who did play that game a lot in childhood. But I don't know how much she remembered of it, but she's like an incredible blind runner. Um, cats on your head. When she played Adventure Island 1, her first try, it took her like not even three hours or something. However, the next two fastest blind runs I've ever heard of for that game were seven and a half hours and like eight hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> Ebsen. That was by me and lack attack respectively so like some of these how long to beat estimates are like definitely assuming you're using save states or they're just total guesswork but they're not always assuming that you're playing the game blind so ease 3 is not a six hour game if you know what you're doing long and short of it oh my god I'm getting ketchup and mustard it over here That's it, that's the that's the comedic comment or content you come to Twitch for, right? <laughs> come for the ease three, stay for the like third grade <laughs> chess club kind of humor. <laughs> I wasn't in chess club in third grade though. I'm gonna have to tap the brakes to not hit the Epson signs, please. There we go, we're good. Dude, these tires are going straight to hell. <laughs> I 
This one was what? Silver Mountain? Is there a real Silver Mountain in the real world? I kind of thought it was like a Disneyland thing, but I guess I'm thinking of Silver Dollar City, right? There's a... I don't know if it's a chain in like the Ozarks area or if it's just one amusement park called Silver Dollar City. When I was in elementary school, kids would brag about going there and they couldn't make it sound fun. For the most part, I would have rather just stayed home and played Mega Man 3 all the time than like go to Six Flags or something like that, which my parents probably appreciated. <laughs> Oh, that was a really short course. Okay, what do you think? I can't... I don't want to beat the whole game. <laughs> Can we just call it here and maybe come back to this if we get super bored someday? And like, Why don't you just go back and beat Road Spirits? So next is Ease 3. Again, I don't really mean to oversell this game. Um, it's different from the rest of the Ease series. Um, and, uh, it's really the only game <laughs> like this, but so I assume everyone here is already familiar, but the ease games are known for the bump combat system where like their action RPGs, but instead of like pressing buttons to attack, you just sort of ram yourself into enemies and they take damage. If you're lined up, you don't take damage. Um, this one is a side scrolling game and it's funny cause it still basically has the pump combat system. It's just, you'd hold or sometimes mash the button <laughs> instead of just walking into enemies. Um, this has really silly voice acting. Lots of names got changed. Uh, and it's probably going to be way too loud when I first turn it on. And for that, I'm sorry. No, Deep Shock, that's Ease 3 you're talking about. Think back to your worst nightmare. The feeling of dark isolation and helplessness. The feeling that an evil force controlled your destiny. Perhaps we can compare these emotions with the terror that enclosed the people of Kenai. Their peace had been shattered by the domination of an evil demon named Demonicus. His long arms of decimation swept over the lands and burned all life in an inferno of slaughter and destruction. Yet even the worst nightmares offer some hope for survival. Kanai's fortunes lay in this stunning warrior of indomitable strength. His bravery was renowned throughout the land, as he had once saved an entire world from similar destruction. But now his challenge was greater than ever before. The insurmountable ferocity of Demonicus was frightening even to our courageous hero. But a real man never shows his fear. And Adol was, in fact, a most gallant soul. He battled Demonicus with equal intensity in this horrific struggle to the death. The skies had darkened and the earth shook as Demonicus applied his brutal force and displayed his savage rage. There were to be no prisoners in this holy war of good over evil. Demonicus unleashed his awesome size and strength against our hero, but Adol's cunning wit allowed him to avoid and eclipse all of the alien's fatal blows. There was more than just a miracle behind this savior of tormented lands. 
Who could fight such courageous battles and manage to pull victory from such impossible odds? Who was this strange raider of evil foes? His legend and the legend of this land are about to be retold. The adventure is in the spirit of the warrior, and the warrior is you. Go now, Adol, and seek out these dark forces that oppress and terrorize the innocent lives of Kenai. How sick was that? <laughs> so the scrolling looks a little odd in this game. Uh, I think it's accurate to what like the computer versions looked like. So it takes a little bit to get used to the, the parallax effects. Hey, thank you, coin. Adol is young in Ease 3, I think. In the first few Ease games, he's like late teens, early 20s, isn't he? They were told of a searing heat. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Dark and eerie goons. They're still on the goons thing. For some reason, they <laughs> they call the monsters and the villains and stuff goons in Ease 1 and 2. Yeah, but they really didn't try. <laughs> there's, there's perfectly good-looking parallax effects on this system, and this just looks like crap. Adol's next adventure was upon him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Beginning. Hey, Adolf! Smell that fresh sea breeze? <gasps> the ship is in top shape. We're ready to shove off. The PCE port of Ninja Gaiden is soon, by the way. It's Christmas 1991. I'm sorry if this is too loud, but it owns. I think we're done with cutscenes for a second. Yeah, check out how the gameplay looks. Yes, Psyraptor.
I like how Adol was just waiting all the way at the end of the bridge. <laughs> He's shy. Woo! Thank you, coin. <laughs> I appreciate it. So this is your hometown. Cool. I think this was published by Hudson. So when the translation sucks, don't blame... Don't blame uh, working designs. It's not their fault until we get to exile. Hey, Sinner, shut Look at this. That's not Parallax. I don't know what they were doing here. Well, what do you think? Do you like my town? <gasps> oh, excuse me. Hey, why don't you look where you're going? Say, aren't you Dogie? Elena? I barely recognized you. Dogie, you haven't changed a bit. Very funny, Elena. Tell me, how's your brother, Chester? I haven't seen him in the last few months. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. After so many years, we finally meet again, and now you've got to run? Adel, I'm going ahead to the inn. See you later. I'm sorry I keep messing with the, the volume. I just don't want this to be too loud during like actual gameplay. All right, yeah, look at this scrolling. You're gonna have to just learn to look at the foreground layer and pretend the parallax effect isn't there. <laughs> it's uh, probably a random, or sorry, not a random, an anonymous gifter, Goemon Sama, if I had to guess. Hello. <laughs> I have at least one very generous anonymous gifter. I suspect it might be more than one person, so. Okay. There we go. Mayor Grady. <laughs> Is Grady his name in like the Japanese one? I'm not totally up on what got changed in the translation. Obviously, Galbalan got changed to Demanicus for some reason. Oh, I know what her deal is. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Sinertia. <laughs> Most of the human names are the same. Okay. I would not do that. <laughs> please, please, I just want to talk to the guy there. Uh, I don't know if you want to buy a healing herb right away. I'll hold off. Are you supposed to buy Harb right at the beginning? God, it's not Valestine Castle. I love the bump combat system, Vic Viper. <laughs> I, I love it. But to me, this game basically has the same thing. It's just you're holding the attack button as you do it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Ah, what do you want to bet I can afford one healing herb. Look at that. It's 
Secret Sorcerian sequel? Yeah, kinda. Alright, I think you have to manually equip all this stuff. Woohoo! <laughs> Anonymous Gifter! Not again! <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Enjoy your emotes. I don't know what I did to deserve all this. If you ask me. Look at this. <laughs> well, yeah, but but it was originally like a PC game, yeah? So, like mashing an attack button on a, an old PC keyboard, I, I wouldn't want to do that. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> that time it was you for real. <laughs> well, thank you. <gasps> they came out of nowhere. Mayor Grady is still trapped in the mine. Someone must rescue him. Who are you? Mayor really? Grady is trapped. A miner called Harvey already went to look for Grady, but we haven't heard from him since he entered the mine. But I promise, not someone who's nicer than me. So I'm going to kind of play this like the Super NES version, I guess, which if I recall, I like to gain two experience levels in that version. Whoops. Yeah. Listen to that, that's way louder than everything else. Yeah, this is like a top tier video game song in all its incarnations. I'm gonna let it run for a second. So, I've only played the Super NES version of this, which everybody hates. I thought it was awesome. When it was brand new. If you go back to it now, it's kind of like... Janky, I guess. Like, the, the hitboxes are all misaligned. So enemies are a lot more dangerous when you're on the left than when you're on the right. Like, you can just hit the, the air like 10 feet in front of them. If you're moving right to left and they're like, ow. Uh-oh. No. Oh, come on. Look at this. <laughs> this is how I move. I forget how much experience it takes to level up the first couple times. If I'm not mistaken, like, this is one of the more dangerous parts of the game. Because you haven't yet outscaled the damage output of the enemies. There we go, that's one level. Oh, you don't need to level here at all? Hey, boot blocking, thank you. I don't blame you, the music's good. Uh, if the volume balance is messed up, I'm having a little bit of difficulty keeping up with chat, so you might need to at me if I appear to ignore it. Because I'm not ignoring it. You know, Oath and Felgana is a really different game, that's all. I don't think either, I don't think that game really renders this one obsolete. I'm kind of talking out of my ass because I haven't played Oath and Felgana, but... I still think I'm right. <laughs> oh God. The 
volume is currently good, okay. Oh, I loved this game as a kid. We um, rented Wanderers from Ease on the SNES a couple times, which you know is everyone's least favorite version. And um, I thought it was I thought it was awesome. <laughs> the uh, the old Super NES action RPG I really cannot revisit from my childhood is I was big into Lagoon. Same deal, we rented it because it looked cool. And I I was just fascinated. I thought it was the coolest game ever. A strategy guide. <laughs> I don't know anything about a Lagoon strategy guide. I kind of want to play. Is that a Sharp X68000 game? I forget what the original version of Lagoon is, but it's a bump system game. Yes! What's this? Oh, yeah, you can save everywhere. You're right. Did I just use my herb by mistake? I must have. Well, time to save. Is it cool, that X68 Grand Lagoon? Or should I not <laughs> care about it? I'm really hoping at some point um, the Mister gets acceptable X68 Grand support, because I found software emulation um, to be a little frustrating. I couldn't get it to look like I wanted. There would be a tearing line down the middle if I went with a remotely accurate aspect ratio and, like, nothing... There wasn't, like, a V-Sync a setting that would fix it or anything like that. I want to go buy an herb. Oh, I didn't turn the ring on, did I? Uh, what? There we go. Oh, but this costs ring, doesn't it? Because I don't want this on right now. It's still Lagoon. <laughs> I probably have the right tolerance for that kind of um, uh, like poor quality of life <laughs> design. I could probably enjoy X68000 Lagoon. Alright, was it this? It was kind of like a plain looking exterior. I think this is where it's sold. Nope. Oh no, don't swing your sword. All right, that's the end, so I guess I needed to go all the way over here. Oh, really? <laughs> I've kind of been interested in that game. I have a hard time predicting um, whether I'm going to enjoy one of those like older aimless NES games or whether I'm gonna bounce off of it. Like, I replayed Metroid 1. I say replayed, but I'd like never beaten it before for the first time recently, and I thought I was gonna not like it and piss people off, and I, I loved it. It's really similar. Uh, yeah, that's another one I, I bounced off of, actually. And that's a game that I, I think everybody loves, right? Not me.
The thing about not leveling, I guess, is that you also have to not just take every hit for free. <laughs> Can you use the healing herb during boss fights? Or is it like ease one and two where I'm gonna wanna do it like right outside? Oh, okay. Wait, what if there's treasure over here? There's not. Okay. Good to know. Do we get to name these guys? Oh, am I supposed to take this to the grandma? Is this backwards? Yeah, okay. Up to the right. What? Yeah, I assume the song is like using up some sort of streaming audio track that they also need to use for the voice acting, so they just have to jam them both in there for those scenes. Ease 1 and 2 did that as well. Dude, I'm so tanky. <laughs> I've taken like a million hits and I'm fine, sort of. Let me just verify that this key doesn't work here. Okay. How do I see this stuff over to the side here? There we go. Not that door. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Uh, I do like Zelda 2 a lot, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think this is a really fast-paced game that's part of the appeal for me. Well, that's definitely a boss fight. And, um, hmm, 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 just a sec, <laughs> it might be. <laughs> I'm just remixing it, that's all. I also appreciated the Skeleton Warrior zinger. Yeah, unless it's just gonna happen right after I load it. That would be bad. All right, let's find out. Continue. Look at this graphic. This isn't the same save I just made. See, I don't have the key or the weird.
It's not really that bad. Uh, the time I lost. Unless that happens like literally every hour, this isn't going to add too much time to the playthrough. Get out of here immediately. It just means I should save more often, I think. There's no reset button on this console. Brady is still in there somewhere. You're supposed to hit run and I select at the same it, time. But the mine is too big. Take this key to the storehouse, where you will find a hidden sword. Hurry! Only you can help the mayor. That's too loud now, right? I think I was keeping it about negative 13 decibels for gameplay. So it's like I saved right after loading and unloading a new music track, you know what I mean? And then immediately like zoned. Really? Who? So that worked. I'm assuming there's a boss here. Oh yeah, I have a story about this boss. So my brother and I, right after we got our SNES, <laughs> I'm sneaking, I'm sneaking. We, um, <laughs> sound effect. Right after we got our SNES, we rented this. Um, and we had it hooked up through- Yes, a sword! What's that? Um. We had it hooked up through the VCR. So we like, hang on, I'm going to have to hit YouTube for this story. All right, the save worked. Uh, give me just a sec. This isn't that funny a story, but <laughs> I have to take little breaks or I'm going to like burn out on this game as I'm playing it. So ivory baby commercial. Yeah, OK, this one. It was probably this specific version of this commercial. So Ivory Soap used to have this just super annoying song for all their commercials. <laughs> and we discovered that since the SNES was hooked up to the VCR, we could like record the video from the TV and the audio from the SNES to a tape. And so we got to that boss and recorded my brother fighting him with that song playing over it. And since we were like, single digits years old, both of us. He was just the funniest thing in the world to us. Anyway, <laughs> back to the game. Uh, I assume it would be wise now to go back to town to give the old lady the pendant. Yeah, yeah. Well, just that boss, not the whole game.
Oh, okay. I assume I can't afford the tier 2 armor or anything. Also, this is the wrong store, isn't it? Oh, it's her. Yeah, this is like the healing ring or something, right? Shield ring. I'm like just slightly worried I'm going to corrupt my save or something. So I'm branching my... I've made the decision to branch my save occasionally. Yeah, it's... I forget if the PS2 Rygar is the really bad one or if it's the PS2 Golden Axe. Hey! So it's good. Dude, I'm taking a lot of damage here. <laughs> uh, not very. Uh, this is going to be a few hours, this playthrough, for sure. Uh, so far, it's fine, Astrid. Wow, look at this! Can you just jump back up? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's wild. Anyway, back down. I really like the background. <laughs> Oh, you can't save in here. Wait, why was Redmont called Serena? <laughs> is that... Is it supposed to be Redmont? 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 Okay. That's pretty doable. Now to find out if you can use herbs during battle. Yeah, I remember it being annoying. No. Well, I didn't hit run fast enough. Yes, you can. Very tough boss fight. Too. Think, man. 
Are you still here? I thought I told you to leave. How many times do I have to repeat myself? You are brave to oppose me, boy. This time, I'll let you go. Yeah. But if you ever get in my way again, I will have no choice but to kill you. Rambro, that's extremely funny. Good job, youngin. Who are you? I'm sorry that you're in danger because <laughs> of me. Let's leave this pit, my boy. Ah, my leg. Could you help me walk? Am I turning up the volume enough for the cutscenes? I'm turning it up like six Harvey, decibels. What will we do if the mine has been destroyed? Oh, Mayor Grady. I don't know. Your name is Ado. Thank you for saving the mayor. Go now. The villagers must be told that he is safe. Okay. Too many good streams. What else is going on tonight? Wasn't Burpo going to stream something? I forget. I bet you have to go to the inn. Adel, you came just in time. There's something I'd like you to do. But first, Elena, could you tell us your story again? I'm afraid to tell this to someone I've just met. But if you trust him, this is about my brother, Chester. <laughs> It has been half a year since he left Serena. It looks like he's working for King Maguire. I've heard bad rumors about Chester. They say he's been around Alcano Ruins. I found my brother's pendant near the entrance, so I know he's been there. This might not have anything to do with Elena's story, but a priest named Pierre went to Alcano Ruins yesterday <laughs> and hasn't returned. Adel, I'd like you to go to the ruins and look for Pierre. I'm concerned about the safety of the village. If you see Chester, tell him that his sister Elena is very worried. Oh, I've forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Elena Studart. It's nice to meet you, Adolf. What's her last name? And I'm sorry to burden you with my problems. Stuart, Stoddart, <laughs> Strudel, yes, of course. Oh yeah, of course he's not. <laughs> I assume I don't need any of this yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna assume that jumping up a tier in armor is the best use of my money. Okay, I'm going to, like, the fire zone or something. This is where you fight that dragon that's, like, a massive pain in the ass in some versions of the game, right? Yeah, I played the PC Engine Ninja Gaiden. I do not like it. Whoops. I just tried to take out the candles for hearts. The <laughs> wrong game.
Oh, this is tons of experience. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Did I not get hit there? That's implausible. Is that good? I've never played it. Like, my question is, would I be better off watching someone who knows the game play it? Or is it, like, fun, even if you don't already know it, like the back of your hand? Mega Man Legends. Whoa, whoa, whip! What the... That spot right there in the Super NES version, if I remember correctly, the birds just never stop spawning. So you can just tape down, up, and attack on your controller and level to the cap there if you really feel like it. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, I could do it here, but it looked like the birds despawned, yeah? Dude, I'm getting whooped. <laughs> I got hit just for walking through the door. All right, hang on. I don't know, actually. Why fire is whooping me? What on fucking earth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's think. I could burn the herb. <laughs> A good sequence of words. But... I have tons of ring. This'll work. Although I'm gonna have to use the herb anyway, so I don't really know what I'm achieving here, but... <laughs> Well, I mean, it, it's not that bad, except that I just took a bunch of damage that I probably shouldn't have saved at all. <laughs> Holy! What do we got? Yo! Pierre, you must tell me what you want here. I seem to have lost my way. No need to lie, good brother. You're looking for the statue, aren't you? What the? I think I heard someone up there. You! You were the swordsman I saw in the Tigre mine. Didn't I warn you not to show your face around here? You! Come with us! Molt 
the lava is flowing down there. No man has ever returned alive. How do you know my name? So you have talked with Elena. Well, it's my life. What I do has nothing to do with you or Elena. Now, goodbye forever. <laughs> oh, you can control Adol during this. Sick. All right. If I remember correctly, there's like a free herb over to the side here. Oh, is it really? Yeah, there we go. The, um... His voice kind of got nasally mid-sentence in a way that reminded me of, uh... Goldman, I think, from uh, House of the Dead 2. When he goes, to protect the life cycle. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? If not, you, someone needs to get a, a video, because it's really funny. All right, well, taking off the shield ring was a terrible idea. <laughs> Oh, I should probably equip this. Ah, uh, what's this over to the right? Oh, <laughs> can't go that way. I just told myself I was going to immediately eat the herb the next hit I took. Thank you. <laughs> I love the scene. So I used to work at an arcade and House of the Dead 2 was like right across from the ticket redemption like prize counter. So especially on the weekends, like all of our business came from little kids having birthday parties there and, you know, buying shit with their tickets. So, <laughs> I have heard the first, like, two minutes of House of the Dead 2 way more than I ever wanted to. It still sort of makes me stressed out because I feel like I'm at work. But almost no one ever, like, got very far into the game. So... It wasn't until, like, I started watching Mortis' stream that I heard all the really goofy shit at the end of the game. The other thing that I remember hearing all the time is we had, um, a Silent Scope 2 cabinet. Some Silent Scope game. And, like, that's a Konami game. And at the beginning of the, like, cutscene... Uh, leading up to the first boss fight, the guy goes, Now, let's play Metal Gear for real. And it's just really embarrassing. Dude, you need a lot of experience to hit this next level, huh? Let me see if I can hit it before... 50 ring is where I'm going to call it. Yeah, I just leveled. We're good. I I heard a lot of House of the Dead, too. The uh, the other thing was the Guilty Gear cabinet was um 
also pretty close to this counter. And usually, like, if, like, a group of college kids came in, without fail, they would try Guilty Gear out. And one person would always pick Zappa for some reason. Like, college kids who are just killing time will pick Zappa. That's just how it goes. Holy crap, dude, this room. And, uh... So one person always picked Zappa, and then someone else would always move the cursor over Soul and go, his name is Bad Guy? That's so funny. And then sometimes pick him or sometimes pick Faust. Without fail, they would pronounce it Faust also. And this this happened, this played out that exact way with like every single group of college kids. It wasn't like the same people. Let's see. I'll do Power Ring. Am I overleveled for this boss? <laughs> I seem to be overleveled for this boss. Dude, I am never going to hit that eight grand for the next sword. <laughs> yeah, what, boss? Oh, I just got the statue they were looking for. Didn't I? That's what the... Oh, my... Exciting. You actually have to jump this... <laughs> when you're going this way. Shoot. I don't know anything about In the Groove. I, so I was really, really into DDR, MTI, big time, and very excited about In the Groove when I first started hearing about it. But it turned out the whole time I was playing DDR for like, you know, double digit hours a day, most days, um, I was doing so with a really nasty condition in my like tendons. <laughs> oh wait, I should heal. Um, not knowing I had it because I was so used to it that I literally couldn't feel the pain from it. The condition is called equinus, like horse legs, <laughs> which <laughs> is pretty funny to me. Um, anyway, if you have equinus, don't play DDR. You will permanently injure your legs. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my, my PSA. And, uh, the, the night before the, like, final injury that ended my dancing arcade game career and also ruled out, like, jogging as a form of exercise I can do and stuff, I played Pump It Up for the first time, and I thought it was awesome. I loved it. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't mean to... Hey, thank you, Stereo Future. I didn't mean to make it awkward or weird, by the way. This is something that happened like years and years ago for me, so it, I'm not like that emotional about it anymore. <laughs> but I do recognize that that's <laughs> that a really heavy story to just bring up out of nowhere. Sad thing is I wasn't even any damn good at DDR. The, uh, the week before, the career-ending injury. I got something like two greats on Afronova. So, about that level of play, where like the, the nine-footers were beginning to be plausible triple A's. But my marvelous attack was terrible. Like, if you just looked at perfect counts, I looked like the best player in town. But there were two guys who were much more likely to get random greats and way less, way more likely to get just 10 year strings of marveluses. So.
This is the fastest I can flail it, unless I hold up on the D-pad. Oh. I'm glad to see you're safe. Someone's coming. Quick, hide. I could have sworn I heard someone. Chester, what's going on? It's nothing. But I thought I heard someone. It must have been my imagination. Well, be more careful. Tell me, Chester, what will you do about Brother Pierre? He seems to be on to us. So I'm going to lock him up in the dungeon of Valestine Castle. Mr. Merlin! Yes? The fire dragon Girin has been slain! What? I'll be there immediately! Wait, really, Quebs? Jester, I don't see how that little boy can give you such a hard time! I'm very sorry. It seems like they've gone. I don't know, but it gives me the creeps. Hey! What's that in the dark? Oh, you're talking about Kid, I Kid Icarus. It could be some kind of mechanism. I think this is the way to find the statue. I remember a story my brother used to tell me. He would talk of a flying monster that lived in Alcano ruins. A monster that guarded a magical statue. Why? I am the one who brought you here. I can't let you face this danger alone. Thank you. <laughs> All right, but... That semicolon. Adolf, be careful. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is like not a third of the way through the game, right? Not yet. Yeah, Zelda did. Kid Icarus did. You could shout into it to get uh, discounts, right? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it can't hit me until it can. Let's try shield ring. So I want to say this game has like subtractive um defense <laughs> this makes sense in my head so it's like when you have armor it, it just subtracts a flat value from the damage you take i'm gonna level up is what i'm gonna do um i believe whoops take that ring off because even if i use that herb there it's not i'm not gonna be strong enough Look, this one candle's out. Huh. Falcom knew what they were doing. That's my opinion. I tried the the first time I got to candles. Uh, yeah. 
know, what kind of experience gain are we looking at here? I bet I need to go back down to the lava zone. Does anyone know how much experience I need for the next level? Offhand? I know it varies so much from ease 3 to ease 3, like from port to port. Oh, so 15 grand. It doesn't seem like it'd take that long. And I'm like very slowly losing ring here. Because you get so much back for killing enemies. I still wish I'd gone with the uh, leveling spot underground. Because I'm going to need to go back there to get my herb back anyway. In fact... Yeah, they really are. Wait a sec, am I healing? No. Thank you, Loragami. Oh, okay, cool. I already forget where it was. There we go. I think the per enemy experience is better here. Dude, I love this game. <laughs> oh man, how is everybody? Did you ever end up playing East One? Weren't you threatening to do that? Me too, Ellie. He's three me. <laughs> oh no, I I let him go. One is really good. Um I personally found two to be a little labyrinthine and so I I kind of bounced off a bit. I've been meaning to start it over and like actually commit to beating it because I know there's plenty I like about it but one is a game that I can do in one sitting now it it's not a good idea is <laughs> it it does take a while but uh, two feels just like four times bigger than one. So if you have the same experience that I have with two, which is that you don't find you're liking it as much as you hope to, you might just move on to three, but it's still definitely worth a try. You know, it's bump combat, so it's got that going for it. Um, the voice acting is a lot better. Like it's an awesome game for someone else. 
There we go. So is this next one going to be 20? Yeah. I bet the experience I gained per mob here went down. He had a 28. Uh, I feel like I should probably level again. I don't know. Yeah, they're, I haven't played the original versions and I think they have a certain charm. I tried to on the mister and uh, I couldn't get them set up right. Um, their like text was totally garbled, which I think is a common problem when you're emulating old Japanese PC stuff on the mister. Uh, I had the same issue with Valis. Wow, if I could get these spawns here all the time, think how fast I would level. Oh, after this week, the PC Engine lineup gets kind of shitty, <laughs> just to warn you. So, like, I don't know what, like, sales figures look like for the system itself over time. It seems to be... We're 20% of the way to the next level, by the way. Um, that they... They must have moved a lot of CD units. Because, like, tonight, for example, four of the five games are CD games. That's never happened before. It'll start happening more often than not. Um, but, you know... There's already a decent amount of shovelware on this system. Um, there'll be plenty more. And it feels like it's not until about 1993 when it starts to really slow down. Um, I think when it was clear that the Super Famicom was kind of eating its lunch. Um, if you didn't know, this system actually, it came out uh, while the Famicom was like the current Nintendo system. Um, and it actually outsold the Famicom for like two years, I think. Um, I don't know if this is on the record, like Nintendo themselves have said this or if it's just assumed, but it seems that it, it's not like the competition from Sega that got Nintendo to finally bring out the Super Famicom, um, but from NEC, from the PC Engine, and especially the CD add-on. Um, which that's something to keep in mind with some of these games is that like they weren't really competing with the 16-bit generation but the 8-bit generation and when you realize that it's like this was totally a next generation system when it came out um but anywho through 93 there are going to be a whole lot of games um and a whole lot of cd games um they're not all equally exciting, unfortunately. Um, I've been thinking I would like to start my Tengai Makyo Jiraiya playthrough. So, probably a couple people remember um, the, like, 53rd game or something, or, like, 103rd. It was really, really early on, and I remember there being a 3 in there. There was this CD RPG that I just skipped entirely because I want to translate it. Um, and play it through on stream. Um, I don't know the first thing about ROM hacking, and even if I did, like, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, the idea is I'm going to play through it in chunks off stream, possibly streaming it to my Discord server just so I don't lose my mind. Um, and, uh translate chunks of it and then go back and replay those sections on stream so that I can you know, go over what's happening. Um, I assume everyone here knows, because I never shut up about it, that I'm a professional Japanese to English translator. Um, I work in the manga business, but my Japanese isn't that good in like a, a real-time like interpreting kind of situation. Like, I need prep time to produce something that 
you know, reads right. So I'm thinking I may actually finally start this soon. Um, the game in question, why don't I get on Wikipedia so you can see it? It's cool. Um, Tengai Makyo Chiraya. This. Uh, there's not... <laughs> there's not much information on the Wikipedia entry for it, unfortunately. But, like, for a game that came out in 1989, it's incredible. Um, all the voice actors are, like, incredible. They're, they're all over, you know, classic anime. Um, and... It's got, like, music, some music, I think just one track, by Sakamoto Ryuichi, who's, like, if you ever listen to YMO, that's his band. Um, it kicks ass, this game. Um, I would like to maybe start supplementing the, uh, the retrospective with, um, Tengai Makyo streams because it's going to get not every week is going to be equally interesting <laughs> as uh, we start to sh see a lot of shovelware and stuff. There we go. Alright, these are not worth anywhere near enough experience now. I'm probably strong enough to beat that boss now. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, they went on to work on Sakura Tyson. I don't know how much of the staff they had in common, but like the director is the same person, I want to say. Um, there's a fighting game based on uh, this series that's cool. It's called Kabuki Clash. Um, not in Japanese, of course. <laughs> uh, it's not like a game you would want to like play if you want to enjoy playing fighting games, but it's really cool. So anyway, it's just something I've been thinking. Um, and I really can't commit to anything because my work schedule is not super predictable. Um, and when I get a, a big boatload of manga dumped on me to translate all at once, I have to prioritize that. Oh my god, I went the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, that was Victor Ireland. <laughs> so, it's probably for the best that it fell through. I don't know, does Gaijin Works commit the same sins that Working Designs did? He's, he just learned how to swing his sword. God damn, was it, why wasn't I doing this before? God. Victor Ireland runs um, Gaijin something. Some really embarrassing name like Gaijin Smash or Gaijin Punch or something. And uh, he used to run uh, Working Designs. Uh, I don't know how many... How much... You can blame working design's problems on him specifically. It's probably not as much as people say. Um, but... Anyway. The main thing I remember is, like... I used to be on... The Gaming Intelligence Agency forums. A lot. I don't know if anyone remembers that site. It was a lot of the same people who used to write for RP Gamer. They started their own thing. Um, and uh, I remember him like name searching and like getting into arguments either there or on RP Gamer. And I was like, you know, a teenager. Like a young teenager. And I, I was just like, dude, like, <laughs> there are adults who act like this? Like,
Gaijin works, that's right. Oh, there are stories, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really agree with Working Designs' approach to translation in the first place. Like, I... It feels like they had contempt for all the stuff they were working on and thought they were improving it by just gutting it and replacing it with poop jokes. Well, all translation is localization. That's a false dichotomy. Because you're always you're always exercising some kind of interpretive license when you translate. It's just a question of whether you're being disingenuous about that. No, don't save. Do this. Yeah. This guy's tough. Well, he is and he isn't. <laughs> he is and he isn't. Well, did he do it or did the company do it? Like, you know, let's not blame one person for a group, a, a committee decision. Yeah, Woolsey was good. I often find myself defending his work. Like, people have some strange ideas about the old FF translations. Like, people will... It, it's really common to watch someone play that that really bad US... Oh! I'm surprised you've come back alive. I guess I underestimated you. It looks like I'll have to deal with you personally. No! <coughs> Elena, what are you doing here? I asked Daigle to stop you from doing any more harm. Please, stop! Why are those statues so important to you? It's my duty. I must get revenge. Surely you remember what happened that day. <laughs> Ada, just leave me alone. I don't want to fight. Oh, this is probably going to be another cutscene. Nope. I don't. I don't know that Nathan for you character. Uh, what the hell was I going to say? Oh yeah, it was translation related. So, pretty often. Adol, am I glad to see you? I'm leaving for a while. I must climb Mount Seko. I seek my old spirit. Dude, he's going to Mount Seko! I could be gone a long time. Adolf, Mayor Grady gave me a message for you. He must see you. It's urgent. His house is beside the inn. Okay. So when people are playing that terrible Final Fantasy IV translation, Invariably, like multiple people in chat will blame it on Ted Woolsey. Ted Woolsey didn't work on that. <laughs> like, it was not even translated by a native English speaker, to my knowledge. That's why it's so weird. Very frustrating. Oh, it's mayor time. Hang on. We probably got to turn the volume up here, too. Hey, doll, my boy. I'm glad you have come. Look what has happened, young'un. Someone broke in while I was gone. They sure made a mess of my home, but nothing is missing. I think they were thugs from Valestine Castle. They are after the statue you found in Tigray Mine, my boy. And for some reason, they thought I had it. 
If the statue has something to do with all the creatures that have been roaming around lately, then you will be in danger. But we still need your help. You are a great swordsman, and I will put the trust of the entire town in you. What do you say, young'un? Are you game? What if I say no here? That's the spirit, Adel, my boy. Here's the first thing I would like you to do. You remember the locked door you found in the mine? Well, it stays locked, because beyond it are pits with many fierce monsters. I've heard old stories about that place, and they say another statue rests somewhere inside. I've already sent a party of miners there, my boy, and I would like you to join them in a search for the magic statue. Here, take this with you, young'un. I hope you will find it useful. Yeah, I mean, I... I don't know that a, a project getting canceled really reflects that poorly on the company, because that can happen for all kinds of reasons. I, I just had something canceled um, that I was, I was gonna have lined up for like a few months. Um, just because the rights changed hands during negotiation. So, like, you know, that is what it is. But, um, they, it's amazing how bad their instincts seem to be on what would and would not be just instantly dated. No, don't save. Look at your equipment. Come on now. No, because uh, we didn't even start work on it. If I'd done the work and it would have been canceled, yeah, we would have gotten paid. All the Judge Ito jokes we mixed out, missed out on. Oh, I'm so close. I'm going to grind for that. Beautiful. Um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, it's it's really just stylistic problems that I have with their writing, and the fact that they would just completely screw up the difficulty it just doesn't seem like they had any respect for the developers whose games they were licensing. That was Square. Um. That is the GBA version of Final Fantasy IV. Which is definitely not the worst translation of it. Um, I mean, the original Super Nintendo one is basically gibberish, so that that would be my pick for worst FF4, not that anyone asked. But uh, the PlayStation one is also really strange. Um, it just breaks into total, like, rewrites at points that don't make any sense, like... There's a line that was kind of serious in the original that got replaced with the game's director going, Cut! It's really weird. Uh, was this the shop? Oh, you can't do another take. <laughs> Yikes. Next time. Oh, wow. I, like, skipped an entire armor tier somehow. I guess I probably did more grinding than I was supposed to, huh? Oh well. Alright.
PSP version. No, I can't stand the PSP FF4. I, like, I don't like how it looks at all. It looks like an RPG Maker game or something. But I really like 240p pixel art, and I think most people like it more than they realize. And that game is just like... It's really high res, but wasn't... <laughs> I don't think really redrawn with that in mind. Thing. Yeah, I, I'll never understand that. Uh, Puexel, the speedrunner, always tells people, like, oh, if you're going to play this game and you don't have any nostalgia for the Super NES one, you should play the the PSP one, because it's the definitive, the definitive version of the game. And, like, you know, he knows his FF4. I'm just shocked that he feels that way. I assume there's going to be a cutscene here, so I'm going to turn the music up, and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Oh. This guy wasn't important to get voice acted. Uh, in my opinion, I guess there isn't a good English language version of the game at all. <laughs> I would say the naming way translation, which it's got some like mistranslations in it. Like It's it's maybe not as great as people say, but it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't have weird arbitrary balance changes. It's not, you know, crappy, like, RPG Maker kind of graphics. Um, I like FF4DS, but I don't know if I can get behind the degree to which... Um, Square, like, punches up their English scripts these days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Steven. That's exactly why I don't <laughs> like how it looks. <laughs> uh, I know Mayor Grady said what this crystal was for, but I was too busy messing with the volume to, <laughs> to remember it. Or maybe he didn't mention it. I don't know. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly, thank you. <laughs> yeah, good example. I really didn't like how HD Remix looked at all. Look for the statue, what? What statue? Don't I have a crystal? <laughs> Is that not what I was supposed to have? Hang on, maybe I can like see through illusory walls now. Um, Ellie, have you tried the Naming Way edition of FF4, out of curiosity? It's a, um, a fan translation. Oh, do you go down here? Heh <laughs> that's clever. Whoa, god damage! It's good. Uh, it is a ROM hack of the Super NES version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this. This, like... <laughs> Yeah, they were shocked that people didn't like how those games looked. They were like, what? Why would you want to see the shitty old pixel art? This chest. I think it's awfully weird. What is that noise? This must be the legendary curse. <laughs> Show me the tablet that was in that chest.
The legend is this. A devil called Demanicus once reigned oh, thank you, over this land. All who opposed him were exterminated. One young man was skillful enough to rise above the chaos and seal away Demanicus by using the power of the statue. But Demanicus never died. He lives on, even now. I never imagined he could return. Nice. Yeah, it was really strange. That I can't imagine, <laughs> like, anyone who worked on FF6 comparing the Super NES one and <laughs> that, like, terrible uh, Steam version and going, yep, that's the one every that's the one you want to play. <laughs> this was my vision all along. Oh, you're right, FaZe, yes. Hey, it didn't say anything about bad about a curse. Hey, Wavy. Oh yeah, I skipped this tier entirely. Well, I'm just falling. <laughs> Update the, the scoreboard. Uh, I feel like maybe I should level here. Do I need to hit 25 grand? Oh, 30. I'll just dog ear this place if I decide I have to come back. Hang on. Are you not supposed to go over there? The obvious answer would be that I'm supposed to go back where those other miners did who fled. <laughs> did you clip the really good sound? <laughs> Dude. Oh, I get it. I can't jump because there's something over my head. There we go. Except it didn't work. Much better. Perfect. Yeah, you know. You gotta treat adaptations as their own thing, I guess. By the original, you mean what, the manga, or what? Uh, I guess that's the Super NES version. I did grind a bunch in the beginning, and apparently it was not necessary. I gained, like, two levels, anyway. But it took, like, five minutes, so I don't regret it. I believe this is supposed to be one of the easiest versions of the game. So, so far it has not been that hard. Though that kind of tracks. I've never... I've watched the movie once and like... I think they must have shown Standalone Complex on TV. And, like, I tried to get into it, and I couldn't. Okay, the statue is still down there, I guess. I do want to go back to the town and make sure I'm not missing any, like, story... Um... Flags, you know? Come on, now. This music's so good. Does anyone know what I'm supposed to do next? I don't really mind getting back seated for this one because it's a long game.
the left of that room at the end, okay. So I don't need to be back here at all. <laughs> well, I healed, that's something. Do I have any embarrassing parent anime stories? Not really. I think I saw Princess Mononoke with my dad when it was making the, like, art house tour. I think he was sort of pleasantly surprised by how much he enjoyed it, but it wasn't, like, his favorite movie or anything. And then... <laughs> he... I wanted to go to the college anime club a couple times, but I was young. I was, like, 14 or 15, maybe. Maybe more like 16. So he didn't want to let me go by myself, so he took me. And there was the one of the like two times we went, they showed every day is Sunday, which is not good. <laughs> and the weathering continent, which is weird. I wouldn't call it bad. But also like, if you've only seen like one anime, wait, the left of which room, this one? If you've only seen, like, single-digit anime, that's a really weird one. <laughs> Cagliostro, Cagliostro is really good. Castle of Cagliostro. That's one that I think even people who are not into anime could probably enjoy. Also, I believe it includes Steven Spielberg's favorite car chase scene, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think a lot of filmmakers do. Roger Ebert was big into it. Um, like, he's sort of credited with Okay, so you are supposed to be able to get up here, right? Do you by any chance have to, like, fall like this? I think he's sort of credited with making anime, like... Um, or with, with kickstarting one of the anime booms in the U.S., Clever. Clever, Falcom. We're back on track, thank you. <laughs> I really don't know that I would have figured that out. <laughs> huh? What? Where'd I go? What's it doing to me? Whoops. Uh. Oh, do you need the time ring for this? No. You need the power ring so you can just get in there and use your herb. Oh, what a boss fight! <laughs> And so Adol died. This game's awesome. Have you not played any version of this? It's the red orb that's doing that, huh? Okay, I get it now. Those were really desynced in an unfortunate way. Ah, <laughs> uh, ease. 
East, maybe, with a hard S. I tried to get my parents to watch Evangelion with me once. That was pretty funny. <laughs> they were just bored. Really? Yeah, I... I liked Evangelion <laughs> when it was basically new. Like, I didn't see it in 95, but pretty soon after it, um... After ADV started bringing it out, I, I picked up a few volumes of it subtitled, and then I discovered fan subs. And then I didn't watch the ADV version. I, <laughs> I watched the fan subs for free. <laughs> And I remember by the end of it kind of not being that wowed by it. And uh, my cousin was getting into anime. She was like, I don't know, probably young enough that I shouldn't have been showing her Evangelion, but I did, so. <laughs> we got bored. And I was like, well, you want to try Evangelion? I don't know if it's your thing. And she's like, sure, anything. And then we watched like the whole thing and liked it. So I revisited it and I really liked it actually. And uh, man, I'm still short for that uh, shield. We did the same thing with Escaflone and I was like, this show sucks. This show's so terrible. Do you want to watch it since we're bored? And she was like, well, you're really selling it. But we did end up watching it and like watch like four discs of it in one day because we couldn't stop because it was so good. <laughs> so I changed my mind about a lot of shows over the years is what I'm getting at here. Brocia serum. <laughs> Do they mean ambrosia by any chance? Hey there. No, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, this isn't the mayor. <laughs> this is the sad old woman. Are you the mayor? Grady, you must join forces with us. Everything will be ours once we make him return. Because I am a kind man, I will include you. I promise you that if you give us the statue, half of the world will be your kingdom. Doesn't that tempt you? You must be kidding. Listen to yourself, man. <laughs> and you call yourself a king? <gasps> Too bad, Grady. I was sure you could be a powerful leader. But now you dare to oppose me. We will have the statue. If you refuse to cooperate, your villagers will be held responsible. Clear out of my way! Well now. That was King Maguire of Valestine Castle, my boy. The king himself has finally come to threaten me. I'd better tell you everything, Adel. This is becoming very serious. Listen carefully. An evil being called Demanicus once dominated this land. He was locked away by a brave warrior. Now, King Maguire is trying to unleash Demanicus and use his evil power to conquer neighboring lands. 
you possess three of the four statues once used to put Demanicus away. King Maguire worried that you will find the fourth statue and banish Demanicus once again. To the north on Mount Seco lives an old hermit. He knows many legends and maybe more about the statues. I'm sorry to get you involved in this, my boy, but with this injured leg, well, you see how it is. Take this letter to the hermit. He may help you. Good luck, young Adel. Grady's letter. Yeah, Demonicus. They sometimes pronounce it Demonicus. <laughs> I think not everyone was on the same page there. Is what they changed Galboland's name to. I feel like we've talked about this a couple times, but this is... If you watch Super Sentai shows, then you, you're you instantly going to know what I'm talking about. But the uh, Dagyo, the Dadidurero sound, the R, as well as like voiced consonants are really common in like villain names in Japanese pop culture. In the same way that like you'll see like, like this more, you know, like this root that's shared with like a bunch of death related words in villain names and like American stuff and I suppose British stuff as well. Um, so like if, if you pay attention when you watch like uh, Super Sentai and, and anime and stuff, you're going to notice that there are a lot of villains named stuff like Vargas or Valgus or Balgus or something or like Belger. So, you know, Galbaland's name is like Garubarang or something. So like you could almost just if, if you were in the business of just changing way too much, it sort of makes sense. To, ch to change Galbaland to something that doesn't sound so stupid, but I mean, no, don't do that. <laughs> Galbaland's fine. She's not willing to make anything for me anymore. Dark Death Evilman. Uh. God, why? I don't want that. Okay. Oops. Wait, I can buy an amulet? Is it good? All right, see ya. <laughs> right, yeah, and like Galvaland sounds fine to me anyway, but I can understand if you were translating this game in, in 1992 or whenever it came out outside of Japan, why you might feel that that doesn't work. Certainly these days when everyone's a, an otaku anyway and watches a ton of an, a Japanese shit, there's no reason to do that. Dulk fucked. <laughs> That's good. Alright, time for Sicko Mountain. Oh my god. Yeah, Darth Vader's name actually works pretty well in Japanese because of this. So does Dracula. They sound like villain names. Are these Galeb Durs? No, they're just weird little dudes in the floor. Dude, I'm getting fucking owned. I'm gaining so much experience though. When's my next level? I don't think it would actually take that long to grind up to 10 grand here. Another 10 grand, I mean. Look at this. They just, like, give you the next level for free for no reason. I only, like, beat the Super NES Ease 3 a couple times, so this part of the game, like, I literally don't remember. Except I think it had, like, a cool Ice Wyvern boss at the end of it, but I might just be thinking of Act Razor. Vader use? What do you mean? 
<laughs> like they put him in a bottle and like spray him where mold's growing. <laughs> what do you mean? Holy crap. Oh, you mean they just use the name Vader? What is that? I can't click it. The YouTube video. Is it cool? Like, I feel like I'm probably meant to grind up to this next level even. Oh, this still isn't a healing zone, huh? Oh, okay. Cool. Like, am I wrong? Why wouldn't you grind here? <laughs> this is so much experience. Why do you not like Sith? Because it's so similar to, I don't know how it's pronounced, but like she, like the S-I-D-H-E thing. Are you talking about specifically Kate Sith? An FF, or do you mean like the Star Wars Sith thing? Yeah, I've already gotten you started on that many times. <laughs> Look at this. Absurd experience. They just put this in here so you can win the game. Yeah, yeah, it's MP. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to save the experience if you can, I think. The, um... Oh, okay, I, what do you want to bet? It's 16 is the level cap. Maybe even 15. Oh, you know, <laughs> he knows how to jump. It's something. Yeah, you know, usually when I play games, Adel, how did you get here? Dogi, is this your companion, Adel? It is fate that we meet now. Come in, my children. We must ponder the future. Ponder the future. I see. Those from Valestine Castle are seeking the ancient statues. I know one of the statues is hidden here in the caverns of Mount Seco. Legend says it is protected by a powerful force. It is said that the beast which dwells atop these mountains holds powerful magic, a talisman to help enter the cavern. Edo, my child, you are unprepared. Carry this sword with you into battle. The Spanded Slayer! Oh, it's too loud still. Sorry. I forgot to turn it down.
Walk easy, doggy. Ha! Uh, is... I don't know, is, is the... Is that not the max level there? It's 65, 535? Yeah, no, I I kind of, like, drove people nuts when I was playing FF5 um, the first time around. Um, on the subject of leveling in these games, because I I was really, really underleveled for the whole playthrough. Like, I was something like level 17 when I got to the last boss. And I, I just had to stop and grind to finish it, because he just... He has an AoE he does that just does like 1800 damage or something. And my max HP was like 500. Oh, okay, yeah, this is this thing, meaning the crystal wyvern thing must be Act Razor that I'm thinking of. But yeah, I, I, I like being under leveled in RPGs because I like to. <laughs> Strategize around being underpowered. I got the flame stuff. What the hell's this thing? Oh, yeah, this thing. Oh, that probably does something. No, it's a hot stick. Harvestation. <laughs> Were you there the other night? I think it was last night. I wasn't, but I saw some really funny clips from it. I guess Macaw played Arya the other day and like he really didn't like it. And that really pissed off a bunch of chat for some reason. <laughs> Didn't seem like that big a deal to me. Yeah, it was really funny to me. <laughs> this game belongs in a toilet. <laughs> he called it a toilet game. I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> That's just so funny. <laughs> I really like Arya, but I also like don't care if someone else doesn't like the games I like, you know what I mean? So it was just amusing to me. Like, you know, let, let him have his opinions. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Oh, you have to jump? Yeah, okay, you need to hit him in the face. Alright, that was a lot of skill there. Yeah, I loved- I loved Arya. I can also understand why he has the complaints he has with it, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, he's got his own taste in games. Huh? No, it's you again. Give me those statues. We are victims of the curse of Demanicus. Now we are trapped down here together. All right, I'll tell you. A year ago, everyone in my village died. Murdered by that king. Right before my eyes, my friends, neighbors, and parents were butchered. One after another. My sister Elena and I were the only survivors. I started working at Ballestine Castle. I was planning to avenge my people when I discovered the plans to re-invoke the curse of Demanicus. 
King McGuire underestimates the power of the curse. It can destroy Valestine Castle itself. And when it does, I will have my revenge. They will be destroyed by their own ambitions. Hey, did you hear something? Adel, I've come to rescue you! Chester, is that really you? It's me, Dogie. Dogie? Chester, you've changed. Ten years ago, you were a man with many dreams. You used to tell me how you were going to make the land of Kenai the greatest in the world. And now look at you. I want you to stop working for King Maguire and Valestine Castle, Chester. Then maybe things will be like they used to be between us. Dogie. Forgive me. Master, thank you for everything. <laughs> Be at peace, Dogi. Remember me and return when you are in these lands. Well, Adel, we must leave these cursed mountains. It's too loud. Uh, with all due respect, Deep Shock, I think you misinterpreted what that person said. Jedi, what happened? The town was attacked. All the villagers have been taken hostage. They're being held in Valestine Castle. What? Adel, only you can help them. Go, rescue the villagers. But take this ring with you. It is a parting gift from our master. Doesn't the heel ring kind of suck, if I recall? Alright, I have like infinity gold. Banded shield looks so tight. Oh, I see. Is it good in other ones? Look at this. I'm on the next to last tier of equipment. I get, I get what you mean. Dude, if you mash on down while you're jumping, you go, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> this time I'm afraid King Maguire is serious. He says that if we don't give him the statues, he will kill all of the villagers. Adel, my boy, you fought very hard for this village, but as mayor, have to make sure the people are safe. I have to ask you to give the statues to King Maguire so that the villagers will be spared. You can fight him later. Give him the statues and then fight him. You are a brave man, young'un. I trust your decision. Please try your hardest. Okay. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this game's so good. I'm on my way to the castle. I wonder what that super expensive necklace does. Don't tell me.
to Valestine. Yes! Look at this! Oh, there's gonna be a cutscene too. Maybe. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, this isn't that long a game, Bug. And I did a little bit of grinding. I got stunned by the song and I stopped. I froze in my tracks. Whoa, big guy. He does infinity damage too. Point taken game. Oh god! I'm beginning to wonder if, if I should hit the experience cap while I'm here. I think I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gaining experience that quickly. My gosh, dude! <laughs> Can panpipes not do that, I'm guessing? I don't know how you would. Well, that shit hurt. I, well, I didn't, I didn't hit the enemies enough, and I got hit more. <laughs> the, the death seemed actually pretty, pretty reasonable. I'm not at the level cap yet either. Yeah, of course not. That's more common for computer games of this vintage to work that way, where you don't really have post-hit invincibility, you just get knocked out of the attack. Well, if you're lucky, you get knocked out of it. Sometimes you just get harvested and you have to move. Yeah, have a good night, Ellie. <laughs> Sorry this game is sort of long, because you didn't get to see the whole thing. Yikes, that was a lot of damage. I might actually be able to, oh my god, dude, do this. Yeah, I think it would be unwise to proceed without finishing this level. 
Oh god. There we go, baby. of the day. <laughs> yes. Hang on. Probably. The Darm Tower song for me is one and two. I think I'm done taking damage. I have a lot of nostalgia for early CD soundtracks, early CD video game soundtracks. I mean, all right, I got to go get my ring power refilled back at town. This one, this one. There we go. Okay, this is a long game. I've been playing it for a long time and I don't want to screw up my herniated disc. So I need to take a break. I'm gonna do that right now. Um, and I guess just put on <laughs> ease three music while I'm out should only be a couple minutes. Um, so I appreciate your patience. I will be back.
Stay safe, Stu. Do you know how to behave during a tornado warning? Are you in one of those areas of the country? Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. Thank you for your patience. And yeah, it's from Gotcha Mix 2, apparently. Now then, he's three. Uh, I don't think I know that. Yeah, 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 exactly. They're... Cerberus and Sakura. Okay. The CCS Tetris game is so fun. Um, jeez. I... The game... The game volume really isn't too hot. It seems like a little excessive looking at the peak meter. But there's a Tetsuka version of Tetris? I just now processed that. Yeah. It's a really fun mode, is the thing. I mean, I can't play Tetris to save my life, but I had a lot of fun with that game. I had a little too much fun with it, in fact. I streamed it for, like, 11 hours straight. Because, um... I'm really stubborn... And the, the way the story mode works is, like, your time limit is, like, you have 20 minutes to beat every level. Um, so when you run out of time, you're supposed to go back to older levels to beat them so that you have more time, right? Instead, 
what I did was continue trying the uh, last stage. Whoa! Oh. Well, don't do that. Um, I had to keep retrying the last stage with something like <clears throat> 75 seconds on the clock. Whatever it was, it was it was not very much time at all. And uh, the the last stage in that game is basically like doing a 40 line dash or whatever it's called. But you're also um, dealing with garbage in a really annoying um, <clears throat> pattern. A Game Boy Light with, okay, like on the console. Oh my God, I was reading chat. <laughs> Usually my, I suck. Usually my um, game audio is like a little quieter than people like, but there's a reason for that. Um, my hearing has been affected by um, working at call centers for like seven or eight years. So if people like really crank the game audio, even if their mic is really loud, I can't hear them. I can't distinguish their voice from the background noise. That's also why I have closed captions. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to be a boss fight later. <laughs> that room. <laughs> like, if you were a boss fight arena, wouldn't you look like exactly like that? It's good. Battle shield. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 I forgot to save too. <laughs> right into the spear. That's okay. I wasn't attached to that one anyway. A <laughs> wonderful shield. Whoop, shoot. Well, it's a poor craftsman that blames his tools, you know what I'm saying? The shield's not the problem. I guess probably that would have got me not hit. Got me not hit. I'm a professional writer. <laughs> and then I'd say shit like that. I say this all the time, but don't think you need to have a way with words to make a living writing. You just have to be lucky. <laughs> just do that. Just be lucky. Why didn't you think of that? that a clip of me running into the spear. Shh, 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 shh. This game's so fucking cool. You know what? I can't say ends very well.
especially in close proximity to like the, uh, the I don't know if phoneme is the term, the like consonant um, that, you know, if you have my accent, uh, you use for like T and sometimes double D. Um, so I used to play Dark Souls all the time. Which, if you don't know Dark Souls, humanity is a very big deal in those games. And you end up talking about humanity a lot. And I couldn't do it. I would I would usually end up saying something that sounded like humanity. There was just this extra T in there, just kind of kicking it. Time ring isn't doing anything here. Oh, wow. This is actually not too bad. Anyway. Save thy game. <laughs> In Palestine. Zelliard? No. Um, thought about it. Hey, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Let's fix this. I did it. Remember when the Red Arm Band opened for Dave Matthews? <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> What's the deal with Zelliard? Is it Japanese? It looks like a Japanese game to me. It's like a DOS game, yeah? It's really similar to like this game and Sorcerian, right? Gameplay wise. Yeah, okay. I wanna play Sorcerian. I didn't need the shield ring on at all once I got the battle shield. This actually made my defense like skyrocket. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I... Let's see, the armband probably gets me past here. Yeah. I feel like going any further without a uh, an herb is probably a terrible idea, but we'll find out. Yeah, some of the platforming is like really hard, right? As well, like even if you know exactly what jump you need to make, it requires extreme precision. I watched a friend of mine play that. I almost want to say the top tier equipment in Crystalis was also called Battle. The Battle Armor. Crystalis is a wonderful game, but is also very obviously SNK just trying to make <laughs> a mashy version of ease. Yo, what is my defense now? <laughs> 255. I see. Psycho, is there battle stuff? Or am I just thinking of ease? 
I can see that. <laughs> Dog! Goodbye. Hey, thank you, Felly. How's it going? Okay, second to last. Oh, wow, it didn't restore all of my ring. Wow, this thing does so much damage. <laughs> but I have cap defense, so it's fine. Yeah, this game's awesome. Scene. I bet there's a cutscene because the music's quiet. Adol, look out! I was so worried about you. I know you told me to wait, but I had to come for you. This man was going to attack you. So you are Adol. I have heard of the troubles you gave Chester. I see. But who needs King Maguire? Step back! It's not as good as the East 1 and 2 dubbing, though. I can't control my guy. <laughs> This scene is really just this long. Adolf, let's follow him. Maybe you're right. It's too easy. I feel like I should probably not go in here. If there's a boss fight in here, I'm like 100% not equipped to do it because I don't have any ring. <laughs> I love how you just haul ass down the stairs. Oh, I keep getting... Here's a thought. <laughs> hey, look at that. I can heal a little bit with each guy I kill. I did save. Look at this. I'm not really healing because I'm taking damage just like a little too frequently. Yeah, I think the blue guard is a boss fight. Oh my god, he hurts! No, don't walk into him! Away from him. Where'd he go? Oh. That was a fun fight.
Oh, this is probably going to be a cutscene. Ah, uh, no, that hasn't come out yet. Nah. Planted. Basement. Is it really? Is it a CD game? Can go up. Whoa. Okay, I don't have enough ring points to do this. This is awesome. Is this even in the Super NES version, the clock tower? I don't remember it. Protect ring. Someone spoil it for me. What does that do? Flame sword. This song's awesome. <laughs> oh, wait, where's like the... I see. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Shadow of the Beast is my kind of game. But I will I will approach it with open-mindedness. Please. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, this track owns. I want to stand on the hook. I did. I didn't stay on it, though. Interesting idea, Ash and Circle. Did you ever actually see an Amiga back in the day, Felly? I did. Um, which I gather is sort of an unusual experience for an American. <laughs> Gosh. I 
I assume you make this jump from here, yeah? There we go. Yeah, you really can't crawl under there. Dude, how much damage does this... Okay. <laughs> 255. That answers that. Hey! Oh, I had it. Interesting. Yeah, um... I feel like I tell all my stories way too much, but... My, uh... One of my parents uh, knew someone through work who was, like, a graphic designer. Um, so he had an Amiga because, you know, it was made for multimedia work. And I got to play video games on that, and I thought they were just so much cooler than console games. Hawking animator. Yeah, I, that's over my head. Oh, yeah. Are we going to fight the one guy that warps around? He's one of the things I remember from the SNES version. Yes, look at this bridge. Domenicus lives again. This human form is no longer necessary. If I get the statues... I'll have absolutely nothing to fear. Oh, look at him. I feel like I need to go back to town and replenish my ring energy. I'm going to do that. Actually, I don't think there's... No, oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. This game really left an impression on me when I was a kid and I played the Super NES version. GTA, that was pretty good. There's like plenty of good British games, yeah. I've never played one, but I know they're out there. <laughs> I've actually been thinking that I have a real blind spot for like microcomputers and stuff that, you know, those weren't big in the U.S. Now you need to go Macaw's chat over it. Are those crucifixes? Crucifices? I don't... There's almost no rare games I like. <laughs> I sort of like Donkey Kong Country, but I find it a little difficult to revisit. I think Battletoads is awesome. Is Wipeout good?
Yeah, you know, I really only started getting into Sega games, like, after I started streaming, so... Like, I didn't play Streets of Rage 2 until, like, 2017, maybe 2018. It's, like, one of my favorite video games. Like, the Mega Drive actually did extremely well here. Or, you know, the Genesis, as, as we call it. <laughs> but it was mostly on the strength of, like, sports games. So, if you were, like, already a Nintendo kid, um, there are pretty decent odds you were just going to skip it entirely. We didn't get our Genesis until it had basically run its course, because they were, you know, on sale for cheap. And, um, man, it turns out there is a lot of good Mega Drive and Genesis stuff. I had no idea. <laughs> it's, like, one of my favorite. I would say at this point, because I've, like, played every NES game, I know which one which ones I love, and it's sort of, like, not fresh to me anymore, you know? I might say I prefer the Genesis as a gestalt to the NES. I don't know if I'm using Gestalt right there, by the way. So don't let anyone tell you you can't be a professional writer. Necklace. Sure. I don't know what that does. We'll find out. Oh, I have that one. Wait. Is it reusable or something? How do I have that at all? Whatever. No kidding. Three charges. Yeah, have a good one. I get the feeling I'm close to the end of the game. <laughs> it super does. This series has, like, just categorically incredible, incredible music, wake up, push play. Don't do it. <laughs> we don't have to say slaps. We did our time. Did you call stuff epic? Wake up, push play. I honestly don't remember if I did. Consistently nearly always. <laughs> I mean, I probably did, too. Fairly recent, yeah. Well, we're not that old. <laughs> to, to, be, to be fair. To be clear, I mean. I mean, I would have been like a teenager when Epic was going around. Uh, you know, I was born in a year. <laughs> it is FM synth, hey. I don't 
remember calling anything like whatever sauce. I'm not saying I didn't, I just have no memory of this. I also don't remember describing anything as fail. Did I ever say anything was made of win? It's possible. I wasn't, I mean, I remain not the coolest person in the world, but I wasn't the coolest person in the world back then, so. Even hit me, I guess a drip from the guy. Jesus, did I say that? Oh my god. Oh my god. That that was fail. That was not made of win. Shoot. Yeah, you know, the, the drip from the guy. That's something that normal people say in any circumstance. Oh, I missed the jump. <laughs> really, what does it mean? Nerds. Oh God, I hate the jump. Look at me crouch. See this? <laughs> Rocco's modern life. Ow! <laughs> Rats in which context? I'll say rats like if I get foiled by a, a hero right as my evil plans were about to... I don't know. I'm too lazy to finish this sentence. Oh yeah, I was on Usenet in like the early 90s. <laughs> I was too young to be on Usenet, but I was there. We gotta save under the bell. Okay, so I think the coward's move would be to equip the shield ring. So the power ring it is. Yes, it is. That's what Batty of the Hour is about. Germanicus lives again. This human form is no longer necessary. I know you do. Statues, I'll have absolutely nothing to fear. You think I can just walk up and chop him? No. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to use this new protect ring.
Why did it auto revive me? Did the necklace do that? was like a thousand million dollars. I have been foolish. Why did I believe the words of Maryland? That devil! His only purpose was to return his master Demanicus to this world. Soon after Demanicus was revived, hideous monsters overran my beautiful castle. I am lost. My beautiful castle. My kingdom is falling into chaos and ruin. You must save me. The only hope left is in the power of the four statues. You must act quickly. Take them to the realm of Demanicus and seal him away with their power. Here, take this idol. Its power will aid you and help you to enter into the land of Demanicus. Goblin idol responsible for many evil acts Now it's time to make up for my past and try to correct my errors Can my people forgive me? Adolf, oh. I'm glad you are safe. You're still talking? Whosoever tries to interfere with my return will suffer dearly. Adol, how do you like this? <laughs> well, peace out. <laughs> Don't worry. She is not dead. Yet. If you want her to live, bring the four statues to my domain. Okay, I gotta redo the boss fight and not lose the necklace. Sorry. I don't know, why does Twitch even have a reply feature? <laughs> How do you even use it? Do you click on a thing? You know what I'm saying? Do you use the mouse or what? Can I buy another Brocia Serum? Yeah, I think I turned it off in Franker Faces. Twitch now has stories? I have been foolish. Why did I believe the words- That would be awesome. That devil! His only purpose was to return his master Demanicus to this world. Soon after Demanicus was revived, hideous monsters overran my beautiful castle. I am lost. My kingdom is falling into chaos and ruin. You must save me. The only hope left is in the power of the four statues. You must act quickly. 
Take them to the realm of Demanicus and seal him away with their power. Here, take this idol. Zanka. Its power will aid you and help you to enter into the land of Demanicus. I am responsible for many evil acts. Now it's time to <laughs> make up for my past and try to correct my errors. Can my people forgive me? Adolf, I had to reload my save because I lost an item I really wanted and couldn't afford to replace. Whosoever tries to interfere with my return will suffer dearly. <clears throat> Adol, how do you like this? <laughs> I was looking right at it. Don't worry. She is not dead. Yet. If you want her to live, bring the four statues to my domain. Man, this is a good game. Don't laugh at me. I'm about to make a comparison people laugh at. Oh no! But... I like this game for the same reason I like Dark Souls. <laughs> Which is that... You can, like, play it for an afternoon and get the whole story out of it and be done. What's wrong, Adel? Why the long face? You're a hero in these parts. Adel, where is Elena? Where is she? It's not a lot of retro RPGs. Only the truly strongest of men know their own weaknesses. Adol, Mayor Grady may be able to help you save Elena. Um, it's not a lot of retro games with stories is the thing. Like, you know, I could play through Ninja Gaiden in like 20 minutes right now. Back when I was speedrunning it, more like 12, <laughs> you know? So... This looks so weird. When you like fall off of here. <laughs> he pokes his sword out for just a sec. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't want this. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as I saw that, I, I jumped on it instantly. On the he don't. Well, just in that, you know, it. If I feel like spending, like, the length of a feature-length movie playing a video game that has, like, a, a story, then this is an option. Dark Souls is an option as well. Of course, you know, you have to memorize Dark Souls to be able to beat it in, like, even under three hours, but... Yeah, I mean... You know what's funny is I feel like some other games tried to do that. Adel, my boy, how can I thank you for all you've done? You had better give me those statues now. Your part is finished. What? Surely someone must go? But whoever goes may not return alive. You are still young. There are many things you haven't learned, my boy.
Grady. Let Adel go. He is not just a drifter. Adel is an adventurer. I'm sure he knows his life may be in danger, but there are some things that a man just can't back away from. You should have faith in Adel. Adel. Then take this with you. It will be helpful in your fight. Okay. It. I feel like a couple other games tried to do that, like where they hid all the storytelling on items and stuff. And it like didn't make sense for them. But if you were to ask me which ones, I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> this is, I forgot. <laughs> but I swear I remember seeing that a few other times and it's like, yeah, this doesn't. Hey, Glitch Witch, thank you for the raid. I can't say I'm surprised to see you here for this game. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like, I, you know, I, I feel like that works for a really specific reason in Dark Souls and it's kind of uncommon for other, oh, am I gonna get to go on the boat? I'm on the boat, dude. Yes. Boat. Okay. Anyway. I'm not hearing a heavy thud. It wasn't the mirror. <laughs> I'm in the dark. But other than that, it's fine. Oh, the damage, dude. Oh, I fell. What item did he give me? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a passive effect, too. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think Falcom tends to put their music on YouTube and Spotify and stuff. I bet I was supposed to hold left there. Uh, if you wanted to, like, actually own the soundtracks, though. Oh. I thought I, like, had to make that jump. Um. I'm not 100% sure what your options are. Um, I know. Oh, I just messed up. I'm sure I just messed up. Go up now. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Let's just start this over. Oh my gosh. I want to say there's a vinyl of uh, the East One soundtrack. Okay. 
Oh, sick. And I bet they're already sold out, right? I like vinyl. I have, you know, a, a decent entry-level turntable. I thought that was the fall where I needed to hold left. Um, but I hate how quickly all the, like, ship to shore, etc. records sell out. But I missed out on that east one. I sure hope you're supposed to fall down here, no? Um, yeah, I have a, an audio technica of some kind. I can actually look it up. Um, turntables. It's like a really common one. I think it's the ATLP120. Yes. The, like, direct drive one. Oh, it's this guy. You may not go any farther. Prepare to die. Well, he does just as much damage. Actually, he doesn't. I'll die if I do this, I think, but... It's not worth losing the necklace. I'm going to reload. I think he was actually a little less lethal, though. Yeah, like, for the most part, I don't want to listen to video game music on my turntable, but this would be an exception, you know. Falcom soundtracks in general. Yes and yes. You may not go any farther. Prepare to die. There we go. Oh, was this in the intro? Yeah, you're right. ribbon really mine was I'm blanking on the name of it the only new radicals album uh, maybe you've been brainwashed too Adolf has. 
I don't need you. Brother and sister dying together. What a nice image. All right, Edo. See what happens to those who oppose me. Demonicus, prepare to die! I will avenge all those who died by your hand! Chester, don't! Why do you always turn to fighting? Why must there always be killing? Both you and Demonicus are living beings with emotions and feelings. Why? Elena, I know only too well. But this is the real world. If we don't kill him, he will kill us. If Demonicus is not killed, the human race may be destroyed. I hope you are finished with your goodbyes. Because now it is time to die. Crafty boy, aren't you? Step up onto the platform with the statues. Yes! Oh, I probably should have healed. Oh, whatever. Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. Okay. Sorry. I needed to turn the volume down. <laughs> Alright, what do I want to use? Seems, uh, seems okay. There goes the necklace. No, I hit start. <laughs> I used the damn herb. No, this is not working designs. Working Designs does have a game tonight. Another one I would like to play in its entirety, but I cannot do that tonight. <laughs> After playing Ease 3 in its entirety. Okay, um... I'm still gonna go with Power Ring. begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. This is a very easy Galbalan. <laughs> This fight is like totally ridiculous in some re in some versions. Boom. I assume there's going to be voice acting again. So I'm going to turn the volume up as soon as that's done. to the center of the land of Demonicus. He is going to destroy all of it. No, Adol, don't go! My brother says it's his fault, so he should be the one to deal with Demonicus. Adol, please! Of course I care! We lived together for more than 17 years. I believe in my brother. I have faith. 
He will return. There is one thing I have to tell you. There is a legend in these parts that a long time ago, a brave young man locked Demonicus away. The village that my brother and I were born in was founded by the descendants of this brave man. King Maguire feared that his plans to bring back Demonicus would be in danger as long as these descendants lived. That is why he destroyed our village. My brother is the only one left who knows the secret that will crush the world of Demonicus. If Demonicus is to be put away for good, my brother must go. It's all right, Adol, as long as you understand. Oh, Adol. Oh, Adol. Should we really leave so soon? Yes, it is best. Adel, I have some final things to do before we leave. Why don't you go on ahead? There's gonna be more voice acting, so I'm leaving the volume up. I'm sorry it's been fluctuating this whole time. Adel. Must you really leave us? What is it that I may do for you, my boy? You may ask anything. Oh ho! That's an easy promise. There will be a rich and beautiful city here for your return. I'm gonna turn this back down because these characters aren't voice acted until we get to like Elena. Just swinging my flame sword around around your house. <laughs> it's made of wood. <laughs> what a good video game. <laughs> you sure are an early riser, Adolf. What are you doing with all that luggage? Are you going on a trip? <laughs> are you going on a trip? This guy's perceptive. Hey, Doc. You are really leaving, Adolf. I wish you could stay. Where is Dogie? Aren't you leaving together? Elena, are you sure? You'll never meet another fellow like Adel. Are you just going to let him go? If I don't leave now, I won't be able to catch up with Adel. Well, Elena, this is goodbye. there for you out there. You should stay here with us.
Wait for me. Haven't you forgotten something? Adel, are you sure you shouldn't say goodbye to Elena? Man, what a video game. Thank you, Mortis. <gasps> the look on his face. She's calling you. What are you going to do? There's an E3 anime? Oh, Adol. How can I ever thank you? I'll never forget what you've done. Your bravery, your kindness, your inspiration. Someday, Adol. Someday. I know that I'll be able to see you again. <sighs> Farewell, Adol. season when is it from Man, <laughs> what a use of two or three hours.
Oh, for those curious, the other games tonight are Columns, <laughs> Download 2, and Exile. I'm sort of thinking of calling it here instead. Or maybe just do Columns real quick. Because Exile is another game I'd like to play all the way through. Yeah, people usually start going to bed around this time. If I do this, it'll be the first week I've not done all five games. Yes, it does, Steven. Download, sort of like Strider and um, Destiny of an Emperor, was like a multi-pronged media project. So they were like planning the OVA and the game at the same time. It was sort of like designed for merchandising from the ground up. Yeah, I don't know. Why don't we just call it then after these credits roll? I can raid someone. And then next week I can do columns. Download two. Which I kind of have to scout ahead of time for nudity because it has some of that. I need to not get banned. <laughs> and then um, then I'll try to play Exile all the way through. I think Exile is longer than this. Let's download one. No, 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 no. <laughs> download two, not columns. <laughs> I will need to set up the Vince filter. Yeah, no, I know, but I do like to put up a, a delay. Like I could power through and do another couple games but it's gonna be half-hearted. So I'd rather just call the stream at this point. Is Chubo still going? I could raid him. He is. So that's the plan. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night, everybody. I am gonna go ahead and raid Chubo. Oh, oh, wait, look, to be continued. Look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna raid Chubo. He's playing three Stooges games. <laughs> so if you wanna see that, which I can't imagine who wouldn't wanna see that. All right, have a good night, everybody.